Snyder Diamond is the place where you can begin creating your ultimate dream kitchen. You can also experience the Sub-Zero Wolf Living Kitchen. It's the perfect resource for designers, builders, and architects. The second you step inside the living kitchen, you're going to know exactly what you want in your own home. For more info, just go to SnyderDiamond.com. show is the Snyder Diamond cooking show. We are live in the living kitchen. Leo Quinones, I'm not a chef, but I'm uh, flanked by a chef, C.J. Jacobson from The Yard in Santa Monica. All right, C.J., let's talk about the history of the Irish car bomb. The Irish car bomb is known by college students everywhere. Uh, <laughs> it, uh, it essentially is, uh, usually, it, it's, it's uh, Guinness ice cream with a shot of Jamo with a little bit of Kahlua. Now, I take that up a little notch because I'm a chef and I'm neurotic. All right. Uh, and what I do is, what I have here is an ice cream base, yeah? So there it is. I made it basically four, uh, a quart of cream, four egg yolks, uh, tempered the cream with uh, two cups of sugar. I make it a little bit sweeter because I do want to uh, add this Jameson to it. Um, and tempered the, uh, temper the cream that I heat up into the egg yolks, then heat it up again until it's like thick. I also add something called an uh, 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 ice cream stabilizer. You're not going to find it anywhere. I know where to get it. So you have to come to the yard to get this. Um, and now I'm going to add some Jameson. Not just a little bit of Jameson. Am I going too fast or are you okay? Well, I'm just saying, how much Jameson is going in this dish? Uh, it depends how much you like. I'm a chef, and I know there's some chefs out there watching, so I'm just going to keep going. <laughs> wow, it's Saturday night at the yard. As you can see, it was, it was, it was fairly stiff before, so I want to go ahead and we'll do a little taste test on you. All right. See what you think. All right. Uh, here we go. Take a little. There you go. Yes, you are. How are we doing? That's a good shot right there. That's so good. then we'll go up a little bit. Yeah, okay. Right, there more. we go. <laughs> so, again, normally I, I couldn't really cook this in a normal like, you know, uh, ice cream maker. So what I have here is liquid nitrogen. And um, bring it out. That's the him. only way to really. Uh, Let's get a shot of this. Bring, bring the camera over here. you yeah. got to see what he's doing so over here. This go is ahead. called a doer of liquid nitrogen. It's kind of like the stable in which we. Uh, nice, and nitrogen. nice and slow. Nice and slow. We're got we going to get this for the web yes. right here. Uh, KBC.com. This is a. If you're just driving right now, he's picked up a giant barrel and he's pouring liquid nitrogen. It's Look the at only that. way really to freeze alcohol. Now, I've got a lot in there. And the thing with nitrogen, people are really afraid of it and so forth. Like, you can play with it with your hands. It's not a big deal. If I stuck my hand there long enough, things wouldn't be good. Can but we get a, can we, can we show that? Can we roll it over there and show the people at home? Is that the possible? Jameson out of the way. All right. It's actually going in my cocktail right now. But because my hands are so hot, this is minus 320 degrees Fahrenheit. Wow. Um, see, look, it's like a witch's brew in my cocktail right now. Um, it, it'll always just like dance around my fingers. It'll never actually touch my fingers unless I actually soak it in here. But as you can see, just being here in this temperature in the beautiful Steiner Diamond uh, showroom here, uh, it's going quite a bit fast. It's, Where do you uh, obtain that, CJ? Um, you can. Th there's there, there's various vendors. So what I have is what we're doing here with ice cream is we're using rapid agitation that is mixing, and we have a fat and we have sugar, right? Okay. Kind of flavoring. That's basically what we have, and that's what normally you want to do when you make an ice cream. And you, by manipulating it like this, you're gonna uh, develop um, you're gonna develop ice crystals. Okay. And what happens in an ice maker is it goes nice and slow, and it happens really nice and slow, and ice crystals form. We, with the uh, use of liquid nitrogen, can do it much faster. So I can actually just hold this bowl over here. Just watch your hands. I don't want to hurt you. I don't, don't want to be hurt. So it's gonna go. Let me stir it. It's going to take a little bit of time. Normally, I could do this in about 45, 50 seconds if there was no alcohol involved. But because there is, um, it takes a little bit longer to freeze. Now, I can already feel it getting a little bit firmer here. It's, it's uh, that ice-cold smoke you if you're driving. It. It's, it's, it's filling up the living kitchen here. And around the edge, you hear that? Yeah. That stuff already freezing? It's this the most fun. Is this the first time nitrogen's been in this, this showroom? Yeah, absolutely. Minus 320. And also, if you're at home, I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't advise using it over your beautiful 15-inch uh, wolf range. Here you go. You can use this. I don't want to hurt you. Thanks, buddy. All right. you got to hold it firm now, yeah? Ow, Good ow. Side. Don't screw up. Here. All, right. Time. All right. So this is the chef and me coming out. This like, is live. 100% live. 100% live. Hold it. I'm trying. It's burning me as I hold it. You're doing just fine. All right, so here we go. Get an overhead shot of this. There you go. There it is, Jameson ice cream, right? Holy. And like, like I said, like, this is just going to evaporate right away, so I can just pour it out. You'll be just fine. Talk about pyro. Everyone's freaked That's out, huh? So, so uh, <laughs> Let's take a look at 
it's absolutely they, they went ready, ice cream right now. They went ready that. So, um, so what we have here buddy. is a, a Russian Imperial Stout. I went to All college. Right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> um, so we have a Russian Imperial Stout here, and what we're doing is basically making these car bombs. So I've got these glasses here. Let me go back and take some of this ice cream. As you can see, it's really, really nice and cold. Ooh. Special mystery guest on the phone. Say hello, line 12. Oh, my God. Hello? Caller. I want to know what this crack is about my cooking. Oh, my God, it's my mom. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we just saw some kitchen pyrotechnics in the form of liquid nitrogen. Um, if someone's just joining us, tell them what they've missed up to now on this dish. Essentially, we made uh, Jameson ice cream, which can't really be done with any sort of conventional uh, cooking technique. You have to use uh, liquid nitrogen, which freezes at a much lower temperature and actually can freeze alcohol. And that's what we have here, um, Jameson ice cream, and it's fantastic, and I think... Any chef out there is like giving me a high five on the radio or <laughs> on their car, or whatever, they, whatever they're doing. Um, so now I'm going to go ahead and make these car bombs. So ten minutes ago, that was not ice cream; it was just like a warm no. kind of a custard. No, and yeah, exactly. uh, it's just it wasn't incredible. Even warm, and then here it is. And like you can see, like with nitrogen, it's still a little bit more crusty around the edges here, but it, it, it does make like the most creamy ice cream there is. So I'm going to put this in, and even though it looks like kind of firm here, that's going to melt because it's lower than the normal sort of. The temperature you've had uh, ice cream. What's all this stuff will melt, actually. What's the fallout here? Are my kids going to have like nine heads, or it's all safe? Uh, well, if you're feeding your kids Jameson ice cream, I think you've got some <laughs> issues that, that, are, that are prior to me. They demand uh, it. Are you yeah, kidding? Yeah. I mean, like, I, I want to hang out with them. I mean, like, are you kidding me? Let's go on the seesaw right now. But, uh, <laughs> I've never said that before in my life. But again, here, here is the ice cream. As you can see, like, that looks really firm. It looks more icy. Mm -hmm. But you don't worry about that because it will melt because I'm going to go ahead and add uh, a nice Russian Imperial Stout. Russian Imperial Stout is a stout, and it's called Russian because uh, back in the day when Germany was actually moving uh, beer over to Russia, uh, it would freeze oftentimes because on the trains and so forth, it was so cold. So they had to add more alcohol to it. So not that I'm all about alcohol and, you know, drinks and desserts and so forth, but this is a 9% alcohol, and this is a Old Rasputin Russian Imperial Stout, which I find fantastic. And here I go. This is what makes it a car bomb, more or less. The stout over the top of the ice cream. Ooh. You guys should all be saying ooh right now. Ooh. <laughs> Thank you very much. There's no sign, apparently. Mm. And now I'm about to get the cameraman drunk. Are you ready, sir? And right. these are being served at the yard. These are being served at the yard right now. Wow. While I'm here doing this on a Saturday night, which is amazing. And if you want to go check out the yard, it's here very easy to do. Just go to the yardsm.com. 119 Broadway in Santa Monica between Ocean and 2nd. It's just a perfect day, too. You just come on out. Lock and load, buddy. And uh, just in enjoy some good food. There you go. <laughs> Cheers. All right. Boom. Let's, let's give this a taste. All right. And uh, what flavor profiles are you going to hit here, CJ? Uh, it, it's going to taste like... What? It's gonna be like it's almost gonna taste like coffee because of the caramelly notes and like the chocolatey notes. Mm -hmm. You're tasting right now, right? Yeah, uh, um, the stout comes through, but then it cut the cream cuts right through it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. And what's cool is that the cream, like as it melts, it kind of just makes this whole like a giant like creamy Jameson stout love fest. Oh, absolutely incredible! And it's like a sixty proof like float, so I mean. And if you want the recipe to uh, your amazing fish tacos or to your uh, Irish car bomb dessert, we can just go to theyardsm.com. Go to theyardsm.com or uh, kbc.com. Mm-hmm. I'll we'll get them up there. C.J. Jacobson, he's cooking at the yard. Uh, it's 310-395-6037, 310-395-6037. And uh, you're putting in, you said, anywhere between 70 and 75 hours a week. And uh, can you just talk about that kind of commitment? Um, I think most chefs do that. Uh, I got a day off, you know, and um, that day off, I kind of worry about what's going on at the restaurant. If I had two days off, I'd freak out. I don't know. I don't know what I would do. But I think that's pretty standard for chefs. I think, you know, I, I think there's a bunch of chefs out there calling me a pussy right now, which is kind of a bummer. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, you know what? I think you're a big freaking stud for coming Thank in. Thank you very much. CJ Jacobson, everybody. There you go. The Yard. TheYardSM.com, and don't forget next. And I got ice cream for all the staff here, guys. Yes. So, uh, break, breakdown's gonna be a cinch. Irish car bombs all along. Next week, Eric Greenspan coming up next is my friend Merrill Schindler. And right now, another word from our uh, sponsor, Snyder Diamond. Thank you, everybody.
Ladies and gentlemen. 